A New World Through You. I was on a Zoom call last week with about a dozen local business owners and entrepreneurs discussing opportunities discovered by supply chain disruptions. We questioned why eggs and dairy products, for example, were trucked in from several hundred miles away when right in our county the same products were being produced or could be produced by restarting old infrastructures. We talked about starting new community gardens, farmers markets, and other food sharing possibilities, as well as reorganizing buying and barter clubs that were popular 50 years ago. We also discussed setting up local currencies in the way of Ithaca Hours in New York State or the Bristol Pound in the UK to claw back some of the global dollars leaving small cities and towns which would also build local goodwill. We talked about reviving legacy crafts such as furniture making, tailoring, and cobbling, all of which had been considerable industries in my area about a century ago. After the four-hour meeting, my mind was buzzing with ideas, and I realized how I had allowed my view of the world to get narrowed down to a globalist agenda, where everyone has very little and is expected to be happy about it. Just as the Star Trek invention of the replicator effectively destroyed economic tyranny, we can rediscover the power of small communities working together to do the same thing. We've somehow come to discount away this value. We've gotten separated out into tiny cells of dependency on a vast, tangled, and very inefficient mode of goods manufacturing and distribution. When all along, if we just get together and start working on it, most of what is needed for the day-to-day -day survival can be created within 100 miles in any direction and the one degree of separation represented by this type of close proximity production would revitalize and re-adhere society in rewarding and spiritual ways. There could be a profound rebalancing away from global consumerism to a producer-consumer model, where working in small groups with our hands, we gain not only the advantages of locally produced goods and services, but also the emotional and spiritual rewards of goods well-made for people we actually know. Small distribution networks connected together are far more nimble and responsive than the impersonal and soul-sucking behemoths of pan-national corporations forcing product distribution through complex layers of huge distances and vast bureaucracies. It's a model of corruption, profiting on the disrespect and depersonalization of humanity. The complete failure of public education and the uprising of homeschooling is an excellent example of local versus global being far more efficient and rewarding. Homeschooled kids learn much faster and happier and are much less creatively suppressed than when indoctrinated by the impersonal education of the nanny state. Indeed, homeschooling is a natural outgrowth of a local-centric economy where its members produce goods and services in close proximity, providing teaching and learning resources far beyond the sterilized common core and standardized testing could ever provide. Home education of the young becomes far more experiential and bonding, not only for families, but for the entire community. As the globalist agenda falls apart, we are freed to apply our individual creativity in a most vital way, far beyond the dystopian clutching and devalued money. There is a supreme reward right in front of us that comes to us from the honest, loving, and compassionate living possible in a local community. It is a reestablishment of community intimacy that connects us to the fount of God's source working through us for the direct good of our immediate fellows that would otherwise be squandered on debt slavery and existential fears. A new world is at our fingertips, created right here and right now by the simple application of opportunity discovery and imagination. Vegetation grows as well among the ruins as in the gardens, as fertile soil is everywhere, as are the seeds of new life and nourishment. All it takes is vision, belief, and the God power of personal sovereignty to make it happen through you. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx, www.pureenergyrx.com.